I'm reading a verse or two in 2 Samuel and chapter 9. I want to speak for a few moments about Mephibosheth. And at verse number 1 in 2 Samuel chapter 9, there's a question that David asked. Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Then in verse number three, we have the same question, slightly different, when he says, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may show the kindness of God unto him? Is there not yet any? left. So we think of David, he is now king, and he's thinking about Jonathan, his friend. He has been killed in battle along with his father Saul, and now David is king in Israel. And he says as he's thinking now, is there any left of Saul's family that I might show kindness to him? Now, there was one who spoke up and he said, yes, there is one. And David asked, who is he? And he was told, Jonathan had a son. And his name was Mephibosheth. And David asked the question, where is he? And so Ziba tells him where he was. The first thing I want to think about for these few moments, that Mephibosheth was sought. It reminds me that there was the Lord Jesus speaking about the Good Shepherd. And the Lord Jesus said that that good shepherd sought sheep that was lost. That reminds me that that's just like us. We have been sought. And it's the Lord Jesus that seeks us. And just as David sought to know if there was someone left of Saul's household, that he might show kindness. One of my Bibles uses another word in, the, trans in the, the margin, and it uses the word grace. Is there any left of the house of Saul that I might show grace unto him? And so there is one left. And so David says, where is he? And he was told that he was living in a place called Lodi Bar, which was a way beyond the River Jordan. It was a way distant from Jerusalem. That reminds me of what the Bible teaches us, that we are afar off from God. Sin has done that. And because we are sinners, we need someone who will seek for us as David sought for Mephibosheth. And the thankful of this, that David sought him, and he was brought from away in Lodibar. He was brought to Jerusalem. And David asked him the question, Are you Mephibosheth? And he said, Thy servant is he. And he asked, why do you look upon me as a dead dog? Mephibosheth was a cripple. He had had a fall and become a cripple, lame on both his feet. And he felt that he was not worthy of a David to call him and bring him to Jerusalem. That reminds me that's what sin has done. Sin has caused us to be far from God, that God in his love has come out and is seeking us to bring us back to himself. 
This is the wonderful thing about Mephibosheth, that while he was sought and while he was brought, he was brought to a place of privilege. The Bible here in 2 Samuel tells us this at verse number 13. So Mephibosheth dwelt at Jerusalem, for he did eat continually at the king's table and was lame on both his feet. There was a place of privilege to sit at the table of the king in Jerusalem, no longer afar off, but made near because one sought him, one had grace for him, one had love for him. And that tells us of the Lord Jesus Christ himself. What drew my attention to think about this is found in Titus and chapter 2. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men. And the Lord Jesus in Hebrews chapter 2 and verse number 9, that we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is it? We see Jesus made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honour, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. I'm going to close now with a word of a verse and chorus of a hymn that's been going through my mind this week. In tenderness he sought me, weary and sick with sin, and on his shoulders brought me back to his fold again, while angels sang in his presence sang, until the courts of heaven rang. Oh, the love that sought me. Oh, the blood that bought me. Oh, the grace that brought me to the fold. Wondrous grace that brought me to the fold. And the hymn writer Spencer Walton also wrote in that same poem these words, I'm sitting in his presence, the sunshine of his face, while with adoring wonder his blessing I retrace. It seems as if eternal days are far too short to sound his praise. I wonder, do we all know that? That the one has been seeking us, the one wants to bring us, and the one has to give us a place in his presence, as Mephibosheth had, a seat at the king's table all the days of his life. That's grace, that's mercy, that's love extended to you and to me. May God bless this word. Let's pray. Father, we do thank thee for the Lord Jesus and what he has accomplished in bringing us because he went to Calvary. He sought us and has brought us that he might bring us into thy very presence continually. We give thanks in the Lord Jesus' name. Amen.